record, guys. Whoever uploads the nastiest one we won clip with the hashtag Lestrebs one we won wins a hundred bucks. You have seven days to enter, and the map code is right now on screen. What if I'm telling you that there's a site where you can check which mice out there on the gaming market actually have the least amount of latency? In this ultimate low input latency guide, I'm about to show you every single step, guys, which you should apply in order to get the least amount of delay possible on your hardware. First of all, we can see, guys, input devices, mice, keyboards, and controllers. There's actually a website which comes in super handy under artings.com, which I'm gonna leave a link to in the description, which is already showing you all the test results of all of the most popular gaming mice, no matter if it's a Razer Viper 8K Hertz, where we can see that the total latency is actually only 2.1 milliseconds. But then Razer also dropped this new mini signature edition, which again has 0.1 milliseconds even less, guys. We are, by the way, going to focus on the click latency expected connection rate, guys. And they can also see that actually the final mouse Starlight 12, which is one of the most expensive gaming mice on the market, has 4.1 milliseconds delay, which is more than double the input delay of the latest Razer mouse. Then we also have something like the Logitech G703, which has 5.2 milliseconds delay. This is actually an insane difference. Therefore, before you're buying any new gaming mice out there in 2023, make sure to always check it in this list and see if they're actually good in terms of input delay, because we all know that's super important for competitive. Then next up, guys, we're going to take a look at keyboards. And that's, again, super important that you know the difference between a normal mechanical and an optical switch. Normal Gatron Red switches have an actuation point of 2.3 millimeters, where on the other hand, something like an Apex Pro Mini only has 0 0.2 millimeters, especially in super competitive games like Fortnite, where ping and latency are the most important factor. This can make a huge difference. So therefore, before you're planning on buying your next gaming keyboard, make sure that it has optical switches, guys. Especially on a budget build, optical Gatron Yellow switches are your way to go. They're insanely fast and also really affordable. And for your controller players out there, actually the best Fortnite pros like Mero, G Money are all using the basic PS4 and PS5 controllers, since it's actually proven that those give you the least amount of latency, even in comparison to Xbox Elite Series or Astro Controller. So therefore, make sure to look out exactly for those. I mean, they're the top 5 controller pros for a reason, right? They gotta know what's good. And now guys, I'm going to show you how you can actually lower your latency in Fortnite for absolutely free. As you can see, I'm right now here on my own low-end PC 1v1 map and I have straight up zero ping. This has been only possible, guys, since I've been actually utilizing the GR Booster, which you can, by the way, try out for absolutely free with the link in the description. And as you can see, this tool is basically gonna search consistently for the best server in my near to give me the least amount of ping as possible. You can see my connection to my router is two milliseconds or even one and from my router now to the game servers nine milliseconds this is already an improvement of almost 70 percent guys and in creative my ping is even lower this by the way displays the normal in-game modes like arena or rank when you're in creative it gets even lower and as mentioned guys you can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description in this next step now guys we're going to take a look at timer set resolution which is actually the best tool in order to reduce the input delay on mouse and keyboard and control it works for both you can get it directly from my official website and just make sure to run it as administrator what you basically can do with this tool is actually reduce the current resolution. This is something like a built-in clock in your windows to 0 0.500, which you can do just simply by clicking maximum. And then you can see your current resolution actually got divided by two and now it's only on 0 0.500, which is going to give you so much less latency in literally any game on any keyboard. It's super important that you basically just have this one here running in the background 24 seven and don't be worried you can't get banned. Even Tfue was using it at his peak. By the way, if it for some reason shouldn't give you 0 0.500, there's an easy fix to that as well. The input that I fix command where you're actually gonna copy all of these comments here one by one and actually apply them into your CMD and press enter and you're gonna do it with all three of these and you're already good to go. Now for this last step guys what I want to do is open up your Nvidia control panel or AMD catalyst and in there you're going to first of all find a mode which is gonna be called low latency mode. This one you actually want to put to ultra guys this is super important. You can try both of these here on or ultra there's some pros who say that on is better and some that ultra then you're gonna go over here to change resolution and this is also super important guys you actually don't want to use any of these dynamic resolutions or ultra HD you want to scroll down all the way until you can find PC where you will select the highest resolution your monitor can actually offer and under refresh rate you're gonna make sure that you actually apply the highest hertz guys there's so many people out there especially if they switch from like 60 to 144 hertz who actually have never changed their refresh rate and they're still stuck on 60 hertz then you're gonna hit apply real quick click under yes and now you're already good to go and all you got to do is restart your PC don't forget to check out the two videos which are right here on screen for the best Nvidia control panel settings and the top five best resolutions in Fortnite in season 3.